Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos. Today we're gonna paint a canvas. Um, we're gonna paint a bunny on a canvas. For this you'll need an eight by eight canvas, a printout of a bunny online. You can pick whatever pattern you choose. I chose one with the bent ear because I thought he was cute. I got my paints at Walmart. I've got Snow White Apple Barrel, 50 cents, and Key West Apple Barrel, also 50 cents. And then I made my own little pom-pom for his tail. I have a video that shows you how to make your own pom-pom, but you can also buy a bag of pom-poms or just one individual one if you don't wanna go through all the work of making it. So the first step is, is we're gonna paint the canvas this Key West color. I'm gonna paint the whole canvas this one color. Make sure you get your edge. This paint dries pretty fast. goes on really well too. Love, love, love this color. Once you get it all painted and you let it dry. Once your canvas is dry, you're gonna wanna take your bunny pattern. You're gonna lay it down on the canvas and line it up with the bottom, center it in the center. And then you can take a piece of chalk or you can take a pencil and they even have these chalk pencils that you can actually use. I'm gonna actually try it with the chalk and then you're just gonna outline your pattern. And I like using chalk because once you are done, the chalk usually wipes right off so you don't see any stencil lines. And that helps a lot, making your product look more finished. You just wanna trace around the whole outside of your bunny. You don't really need to hold down <clears throat> your pattern with anything but your hand. You don't want to glue it down or anything. It's small enough where you can just use your fingers to hold it. Now we have our bunny outline. Now we're going to take our white paint. Start filling in our bunny. I'm going to start with a bigger brush. And try and outline the whole bunny. This part's pretty easy. Move the canvas in which direction you need. As you can see, you can't even see the chalk outline. 
because it's being covered up by the white paint, which is why I like using chalk versus a pencil. So the pencil marks, you have to use a little extra paint on the edges to fully get rid of the pencil marks. And we're almost to the top. Your bunny might need a second coat, depending on how thick you put on the first coat. There we go. Very, very cute. Now for the background, which is all these little dots, I just took the back side of a paintbrush. Never mind my paintbrush, they get used a lot. And I dipped it right in the white paint. So I just took my white paint and I just dipped it. And then I just randomly dotted all over the whole canvas. No special tool required, anything. It's the back side of a paintbrush. You can put as little or as many dots as you want. And these are gonna take a little longer to dry because as they're going on, <clears throat> they're going on really thick. I'm just gonna take a little bit for it to dry. All your little dots for your background. That one didn't come out quite right. Use a blow dryer. much fully dry. Now we're going to take our hot glue gun and we're going to add our pom-pom to his tail. You're just going to take a 
your hot glue gun, add some hot glue, and add his tail. And there you go. How cute is that? Simple, quick, easy, only two colors of paint. A pattern that we got off the internet and a little pump pump that we actually made ourselves. Just an eight by eight canvas. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching.